yeah, as one of the as one of the uh, as one of those involved, uh, I observed that the, the the issues at question today that led to today were not about quelling a mob action. It was about people at Palmer Park and at the Dairy Queen who were simply getting into their cars to go home. And uh, the question I have is what was going through their minds to be dragging people out of their cars to go home uh, who might have no threat at all. Uh, and it looked to me like their, the police were almost missing their chance to have a moment. The question would probably be rephrased as it seemed like, and correct me if I'm wrong on this, it seemed like from his perspective, the question is what were police doing to stop um, a perhaps a violent protest as opposed to starting a rumble, as in your quote, am I correct? Do you believe it was a violent protest that was getting out of hand? We won't talk specifically about the event, but when you go to events like this that perhaps are getting a little out of source, what is the mindset of police at that moment to be able to stop? Well, it started off, like I said previously, that uh, it was going very peaceful. Uh, people were in the park, there were no problems. When it spilled towards the street, they were along the sidewalks of the Cavalry Boulevard, then it went into the street. And that's where the communication with the peacekeepers, if there were enough of them to help. And we have peacekeepers that weren't effectively communicating with the members and it quickly spun out of control. Uh, the the pre-planning communications that we had put into place for a week's worth of pre-planning meeting uh, with the event organizers out at Peterson Air Force Base uh, fell apart. A lot of the things that had been agreed upon didn't happen. And that, Cause a little bit of a problem for us. Bill, uh, last rebuttal and you know, your response, and then we'll go ahead and wrap it up because of our agreed upon times at 3 30. Go ahead. Sir. Okay. I guess, you know, just to restate a little bit of what was going on there is that I do know people that were well away from Academy Boulevard that were tear gassed or pulled away. And, you know, if someone's in a parking lot getting in their car at Dairy Queen, it's pretty clear that some of them were dispersing and needed the opportunity. Follow through on that, and so the the training is vital, and I'm hoping that the peace community and the police department can get together and make some of that happen, and that it can be a positive outcome for everyone involved because we do need something to be different, and we do need to allow people to get their voice out, and allow them to say what they believe is right, and do it in such a way that that doesn't harm anyone or cut off the entire traffic of Academy Boulevard and, and things of that nature. The, the majority of the peace people did an outstanding job, and the majority of the police, at least leading up to other events, have done outstanding jobs. We need to work with the ones that are having problems here and make for better outcomes in the future. And the police department, as I've heard, is, is going to need to do a lot more with training and making it so that this can be done right. All right, well, thank you very much. And before we go, we have a little housekeeping to do. Go ahead. Uh, for those of you that are interested, this will be running on Springs TV in June. We will post it on the internet in advance so that you have plenty of time to know when to uh, tune into Springs TV. We also have a lending library, so if you'd like to borrow the tape at any time for a 48 hour period, you can come down to City Hall and we'd be glad to loan you the tape uh, as long as you return it to us. That's the caveat. Thank you for being here.